What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy Badger. And it's my ha. And man, we back at it again with another video. Today, we're back on another comparison video. By we, Watch Data. And we see that you guys really like those videos. The videos. Can you? Can, can you not? Can I thought we not? were finishing each other's no, sentences. we're not. We're not. Oh. So. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna watch another comparison video since you guys find them very likable. I don't even know if that was the right word. <laughs> All right. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, since it seems like you guys really like these videos, we're gonna keep reacting to them. But today, we're watching the fastest healing wounds on basically the human body, I'm yeah. guessing. Yes, on the human body. So we're gonna go through and figure out what are the fastest healing wounds on our body. I think it's wounds that occur on your finger. I, I tore a piece of skin and it's already healing and it happened two days ago. Good job. That's my theory. Yeah, okay. Uh, verse of the day, oh man, I lost, okay. The verse of the day is from John 14, 26, and it says, but the counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father was sent in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have told you. Amen. That just sound like a lot of words. Amen. <laughs> so now let's get into this video. Babe, you are all up in my first space, bro. We're about to be one flesh. We're about to, we're, we're going, practicing. I'm, you know, we're going to switch. We tried to do this. Maybe this is thing. why we did it. Yes, <laughs> I need to be on that side because the mouse is right here. Why don't you move the mouse to that side and just use your I'm left not hand? A lefty. I use a... my right hand to move the mouse. Hey, I can use the mouse. Darling, it's no, okay. I'm... I can press play. Babe, it's more than press and play. I it is. Switch. Well, why don't you just show me? What do I press? <laughs> I don't want to. I press record. I'll show you next time. All right, let's get into you the video. You see, Eli, let's get into the he video. didn't want me to be let's great. Let's get into the video, man. Let's get into it. All right, first one. First fastest healing womb is a pop pimple. <laughs> you got a lot going on right now. <laughs> This is a pop pimple. It takes 10 minutes to heal a pop pimple. More than 8% of people pop their own pimples. You ever popped your own pimples? I have. My mom always told me not to pop a pimple. I but I popped one my in your own mouth pimples. when you were sleeping. Pardon? What? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? No, I'm just playing. That's why I gotta lock my doors. <laughs> All right, but yeah. I got it. All right. That's a womb? A nosebleed. nosebleed. I don't see how that's a wound, but all right. Uh, so a nosebleed, it takes 13 minutes to heal. Each year, up to 60 million people in the U.S. have nosebleeds. Did you get a nosebleed this year? I don't remember. We're not part of this. This, this year, thing. I don't know, because we just went into this year. Uh, so no. <laughs> Are you trying to be smart with me? <laughs> anyway, it takes 15 minutes to heal from getting an injection. The bleeding usually stops in about 10 minutes and it takes a little longer to heal fully. That's why they give you those band-aids. Ah, 50 minutes. Oh yeah, that's what they say, keep it on there. A, a splinter! splinter. Bro, I hate splinters. I've gotten a splinter before. Splinters are the worst. It takes two hours to heal. Taking a splinter out as soon as you, as soon as you spot it helps prevents infection. <laughs> Yo, she be Bro. making fun of my reading. Like, I'm no. just trying to make sure I'm reading the right. No, I, no. <laughs> Taking a splinter out as soon as you spot it helps prevent infection. Have okay. you, I don't think I've ever gotten an infection from a splinter though. No, no, yeah. I've never heard that. You're a very wild person if you just keep a splinter in your stomach. I remember this one girl was crying in primary school because she got a splinter and then my teacher had to take it out using her credit card. Ooh, a beast. Five man. hours. Takes five hours for a bee sting to heal. 7.5% of Americans are hypersensitive to insect stings. Yikes. I've been stung by a wasp, and that junk hurts. Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, y'all, it was when I was a kid. Boy, I was crying. A bunch of wasps came from under a sting <laughs> and jumped me. Like, what? It was crazy. It takes six hours. Why are you giving me attitude? <laughs> You didn't even tell them what it, it was. It takes six hours to heal from a paper cut. Paper cuts can actually be deadly if an infection spreads further. This oh. sounds like rabies. <laughs> Bro, how do you get a paper cut and you let it spread? <laughs> like, what? Does the cut just keep getting bigger and bigger? I don't know. Ooh. Ew. A blister. It takes seven hours for a blister to heal. 16% of runners develop a blister during a 10 mile race. I hate blisters. 
Ugh. I don't run, so I ain't going to even get one. <laughs> you didn't get blisters in college? Like from football? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't remember. I think so. Is it those little ball things you can pop? Yeah, you're not supposed to pop. I pop it. And oh, okay. Little, and juice be coming out. Oh. And then I suck it all <laughs> Whoa. Stab with a sharpened pencil. <laughs> Sounds hours. terrible. It takes 18 hours to heal. This can cause a permanent color or blue gray mark, but it's not harmful. I didn't know that. I thought lead was harmful. Back in the day, it's I think toxic. it was. Oh. Yeah, that don't sound like that. You ever stabbed stuff. yourself with a sharpened pencil before? No, I stabbed somebody. Oh. No. <laughs> sunburn. Can't relate. I've gotten sunburned before. I've never gotten sunburned. Because I am a person that never puts it on. Sunscreen? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're supposed to put sunscreen. Don't listen to Christian. Sunburn. Regardless of your color, I don't even you know. gotta Why put sunscreen on. I don't even think sunburn would be a wound. But it takes 22 hours for it, you to heal from sunburn. More than one in three people report getting sunburn each year. What? A mosquito bite. It takes 40 hours to heal from a mosquito bite. Mosquitoes are responsible. Responsible for one million deaths each year? Boy, over a million? That's wild. I ain't never going outside. The mosquitoes gonna have to see me. <laughs> Try to bite me. Then they, you don't even feel them. No, you don't. You just be chilling, go outside, come back in, you itching. You got bumps all over you. And you, like, and you wonder why or where it came from. Uh, 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 that's how I feel about fleas. A punch in the mouth. <laughs> Take 48 hours to heal. A busted lip is relatively <laughs> It's relatively common occurrence and it's typically results from an injury. Like boxing. But you don't just relatively just get punched in the face. Right. <laughs> what the frick? 48 they hours. It seems like you just walk outside and get I punched know. in the face. Nah, bro. Look at that spit getting out. The nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Scraped against the carpet, Ooh. aka carpet burn, ah. takes five days to heal. Ex ex <laughs> Extreme cases of this may result in genuine thermal burning of the skin. That hurt, right? No, yeah, carpet burn it. is Just the worst. Thinking about it is giving me. You know, it's the worst when you get in like your elbows. Oh yeah. Ooh. Terrible. First degree burn takes six days to heal. First degree burns are the least common type with their prevalence being 12.8%. I ain't never had that. You never burnt yourself with like hot water or anything like that? Yeah. Oh, you know I had first degree burn on my tongue. <laughs> from drinking something hot <laughs> and it'd be like weird your texture now those the, yeah that does take a couple burn. days to heal that's first degree burn i, I guess so yeah because that take uh top of my tongue be all bald it feel like mm. and the rest of my tongue is not yeah oh girl yo I, that happened Ooh. to me yesterday y'all eyeball scratch it take eight d eight days to heal this is common and makes up 10 percent of emergency eye care visits that's terrible yesterday y'all i ate Cajun french fries and then I, I like was done and I forgot and I rubbed my eye <laughs> My eye was burning, but it didn't take eight days to heal. It took a few hours. Like, you also didn't like, scratch your eyeball True. Oh, yeah ah. that, <laughs> Okay, that's an eyeball <laughs> I just rubbed your eye. Okay, I read. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think. Okay. Yeah, I never scratched that's my terrible. eye. terrible. A black eye. Oof. Mm. Black eye. It takes 10 days to heal, and most black eyes heal completely and don't don't <laughs> cause any damage to the eye. It was a bug that just came from I had a black eye before. Oh, yeah. By a hockey ball. You got a picture of that? I do. You should show them. We'll add it. I'll send it to Ham. All right. Yeah. Y'all watch her. Look at, look at her black eye right now on the screen. Y'all seen that picture of her black eye? Disgusting. Terrible. A dog bite. It takes 13 days to heal from a dog bite. More than two million children are bitten by dogs each year in America. I'll be damned. You know what statistic I want to know? Me, I'm gonna bite the dog. I want to know how many poodles get bit by a golden retriever named Buddha a year. Oh, why are you calling out? That's Prince? what I want to know. Prince got bit by a dog, a golden retriever. <laughs> Out of all dogs. Named Buddha some years back. <laughs> I stopped it, y'all. Oh yeah, he did. I he could have gotten it. bit too. Yeah, I would have. Well, I would have. Man, let that dog have bit me. <laughs> we would have been biting each other. <laughs> I would have got his leg. <laughs> <laughs> Try me again. I would have bit his owner too. Get over here. 
Man, that's why I hate cats. Yeah, man, that's terrible. Cat scratches uh, takes 14 days to heal. There are about 25,000 cases of cat scratch disease. Disease? Diagnosed each year. Oh, no, we're not getting a cat. No, we're not like, doing no, that. Bro. I mean, yeah, cats, they, they be tripping. You be chilling and they just be like, <laughs> and run away. <laughs> like, bro, what is wrong yeah. with you? <laughs> what? <laughs> a, a punch by Mike Tyson? You, you not healing from that. Talking about some 15 days to heal. Oh, my You're God. You're dying. That's the truth. <laughs> it takes 15 days to heal from a punch by Mike Tyson. Tyson's punches would generate 1,178 pounds feet, uh, which is equal to 1.6 kilojoules. Yeah, you're not healing. That's not healing. No. How much would you you're need, gonna need How um, much would you need to get paid to get punched by Mike Tyson? Okay, well, one... <laughs> I need enough money to fix my exactly. face. Exactly. I need to know how much it's gonna cost to fix my face first. Yeah. So that plus... I need, I need a... 20 cool, million dollars. I need a good one billion. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I need a good one billion. Ace Boy already got a black eye. Yeah. And he even finished getting punched. Stepping on broken glass takes 18 days to heal. Oof. Broken glass is the leading cause of lacerations. lacerations. Oof. That sounds like you're going to the ER. Yes, that sounds very painful. Broken nose takes 20 days to heal. More than 90% of nasal fractures are caused by blunt force. So Have you ever broken your nose? No. Th Same, I mean, thank the Lord. Thank God. Yeah. That sounds very painful. Like, y'all just nose like this. <laughs> You're walking around with your nose like this. Messed up. Oh, yo. Hit with baseball bat. This is bat. terrible. It takes 28 days to heal from a hit with a baseball bat. It's a criminal offense if you carry a baseball bat intending to hurt someone physically. I would hope so. Yeah, I would. That's a that's a strong weapon, y'all. Yeah, that, that is. Will literally kill you. Oh. Popped eardrum. <laughs> Takes two weeks to heal. Ooh. Cotton swabs are responsible for five percent of raptured eardrum. I didn't know that. Eardrum cases. Oh. Yeah, so stop trying to put that crap in my ear and clean it out. Look, I was trying to help you out. She trying to mess up my ears, y'all. I want the wax in my ear. You want it to be visible? It's natural. Okay. I want my eardrum stinking. Caught on barbed wire it takes 2.4 weeks to heal. In this situation, immediately sanitize the wound and seek treatment. Dang. Bro, I feel like you're only caught on barbed wire if you're, <laughs> trying like, to trying to escape. Facts. That's your, that's your own fault. Yeah. Like, trying to escape or jump over somewhere yeah. to get in somewhere you're not supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. That's your fault. Ooh, girl. Tooth falling out. About one in six adults age 65 or older have lost all their teeth. It takes four weeks to heal when your tooth fall out. One in six adults have lost. Oh, girl. I'm not trying to lose my teeth after I turn 65. I'm going to keep on mine. Mm-hmm. Y'all see the pearly whites? She had braces. What the freak? <laughs> this is racist. Whoa. Whip repeatedly. So it takes 4.3 weeks to heal. Whipping will almost always lead to long-term scarring. It's got you triggered. You couldn't even say it yeah, right. Yeah, bro. That's, that's wild, bro. I ain't yeah. never been... Well, I've been whipped, but not with a whip. What the freak? Shot by a nail gun. <laughs> takes five weeks to heal. 12% of nail gun injuries happen to workers not even using a nail gun. So it's probably that's like crazy. falls. And you go... Or like people who use it and they don't know what they're doing yeah, for the like, DIY do, do, projects. Do, 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 do. Ah! Be like the That's movies. That's what they do. They be like, do, 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 do. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like they always look at it. They don't even react when it first happened. Tattoo, Tattoo wound. wound. Takes, Takes about seven six. weeks to heal. Statistics say that 0.5 to 6% of tattoos are going to get infected. Ooh. Not me. Mining, uh, okay. Not me. Okay. I'm not infected. Same. <laughs> Same. Bro, she, that's a sharpie, y'all. An ingrown toenail. Yeah. Mm. I Takes feel like old eight people weeks get to heal. Bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why they toenails be looking like that. Around 3% of the general population have an ingrown toenail at any one time. That sounds like it hurts. Yeah, that does sound painful. Like another toenail trying to fit in. Ew. <laughs> Ew. This is the regular token. Hey, hey, what y'all doing? <laughs> Bro rash. 
So it takes nine weeks to heal. This is when you're you scrape against the road. There are over twenty k cases, twenty k, twenty thousand cases each year. Mm, frostbite. Ooh. Takes ten weeks. That's a long time. That is Dang. a long time. Ten weeks to heal. Frostbite is tissue damage as a result to cold exposure. That's when like your nose gets all purple. Mm -hmm. And then I've never had that happen, but yeah. Yeah, I've just seen it in movies. Oh. Can you like lose your fingers from frostbite? Uh, yes, you can lose your toes, bro. Oh, that's scary. Bed sores. Ew. Oh my god. Where you get bed sores from? I mean, if you're bedridden, if you stay in bed for a really long time, that's how you get bed sores. Oh, what? A lot of old people get that if they can't get up out of bed. Oh, what? Or if you're in a coma for a long time, you oh. get bed sores. Dang. Dang. So bed sores, it takes 11 weeks to heal, up to 60,000. Americans die every year due to bed sores and pressure injuries. Yeah, that's really sad. Get out the bed! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they can't. Oh my gosh. Tear doing ch during childbirth. Mm. Oh. It will take three months to heal. Up to nine and ten first time mothers will have some sort of tear. I believe it. So you gonna tear something? That sounds please. terrible. Hopefully you the one that don't tear anything. I uh, yeah, I want to be that one. Hey, we not having a kid no time soon, mm -mm. y'all. So don't worry about that unless the Lord say so. Mm -hmm. Broken manhood. <laughs> <laughs> it takes four months to heal. Estimated incidence of a penile fracture. Penile fracture. Penile <laughs> fracture is about five hundred to six hundred sixty cases per year. Ooh. Oh, I like my penile. <laughs> Gunshot, shaking my head. Takes five months to heal every day on average. 360 people lot. in America are shot. Thank God. So today, about 316 people have been shot. Well, the day's not over. Oh! Sharp. Shrapnel wound. Shra oh. <laughs> I'm over here <laughs> trying to sound it out. Sharpie. Sharp. No, what is that? <laughs> I don't know what that was, bro. Pieces shrapnel of metal. Wound? Yeah, shrapnel wound. It takes eight month eight months to heal. Shrapnel, shrapnel. Go ahead. Consists of pieces of metal which are scattered from exploding oh. bombs. Oh my gosh. That's you know, terrible. I'm not trying to relate to that. Ah! Why did these things so painful? I don't know. Nine months to heal from a nail being torn off. That's disgusting. Oh bicep tear. Uh, 11 months to heal. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. Oh. Uh, they affected a estimated 5 out of 100,000 people each year. Y'all want to see my uh, my tear? I tore my pec right here, y'all. I had to get surgery. Yeah, so that happens as well. That yeah. took about some time. Impaled by tree branch. That sounds painful. That's a very wild way to, to get a wound. <laughs> 15 months to heal. Impalement injury accounted for about 0.3% of all cases of traumatic brain injury. That's wild. Jeez Louise. Struck, struck by, by lightning. lightning. Bro, 18 months to heal. Only about 10% of people who are struck by lightning are killed. That's she terrible. knows someone that was struck by lightning twice and lived. Yeah. Live to tell the, the story. Yeah. It's just crazy. Oh. Completely severe spinal cord. There is currently no known cure for a completely severe cord. Never Separate. heals. That's wild that you don't heal from that. This this video really took a turn. Yeah. Because it went from fasting healing wounds Thank to never heals. What's yeah. the most painful wound you ever had? How long did it take to heal? Most painful. What was your most painful wound? Freaking my torn pack! Oh, you're right. You're that right. I freaking hurt, bro. Go ahead. Um, uh, I broke my arm when I was younger, but more recently, um, I sprained my ankle really bad. Yeah, that was that, painful. That does hurt. I mm -hmm. would say those hurt. Yeah. And your black eye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, I didn't feel it. I kind of just like, I don't remember. I just remember being on the ground and blood everywhere. That girl got CTE. <laughs> but yeah, man, so that right there is the fastest healing wounds on the human body. But yeah, man, that's it for that video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification button. Hey, man, and AG2G, all glory to God. Peace out! Bye!